Okay, guys. I gotta say, I felt I felt like maybe I uh, left you hanging in that last video. So, uh, I had some extra time. I thought I'd uh, show you how I glue this star together. And then uh, also show you how I like to finish them. I'm just going to pause the video real quick here and let you guys know that I do have another video on how to cut all the angles for the Texas Star. Check out my channel. It's titled Texas Stars, How to Cut the Angles, and I go into full detail on how to make these. Of course, you can paint it however you'd like, but I'll probably do a um, steel wool and vinegar stain on this one. But let's just start with gluing it together. Uh, usually uh, what I like to do is just lay it on a flat surface. And uh, I normally put a parchment paper underneath. But I just ran out today, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to use uh, newspaper. And, uh, you know, it'll probably stick underneath, but I'll just end up sta uh, sanding it off. And this is just uh, standard wood glue. Uh, basically, I just put a little bit in there. Nothing too crazy, because we're going to add a backing on the back of it once this dries to uh, hold everything together. So, just a thin layer. It's not like blobbed on there too much or anything. It's pretty easy to get carried away with over gluing things I think but this is just decoration non-structural so don't have to get too crazy here and just one more piece So, uh, as mentioned in the previous video, I don't like to use the hot glue gun because I can't do this. I can't uh, slide it around and make sure everything lines up perfectly. The hot glue gun dries so fast that you're, you have a very limited time. And I just can't move. I, I just can't work fast enough to... Uh, get things lined up before it dries so so that's why I recommend just using any standard uh, wood glue you can use the um, the white glue for crafts as well as long as it's that like liquid stuff so you just let that set and dry for a couple of hours and then where did I put that we're gonna put one of these things on the back of it and that's where the strength is gonna come from you know what? I forgot to tape it together. Sorry about that. Alrighty. So an hour's passed. It was dried enough to be able to flip it over. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue this onto here. So that's about good there. And uh, just kind of sliding it back and forth. That kind of helps to work it in there. There we are. And I'm going to take this thing. This is a air nailer. I'm going to put these tiny little nails in there. If you don't have one of these, don't worry. You don't need it. You can actually just put a weight on top of that and let the glue dry and it will be more than strong enough. Um, I just like to use this since I have it. Voila. So each piece has at least two nails in it. And let's take all this off here. So 
So once that dries, it's gonna be super strong. And that's the front there. Uh, and to hang it, we're gonna use a piece of twine and we're just gonna staple it on with the stapler here. So well, that's pretty simple. I just put it in the back here. And uh, so I get, I get two of them in there like that. And I just flip this upwards, put another one in there. Makes it a lot more solid, harder to slide out of there. Cut off the excess. And there you are. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, let's start staining. So I'm using my homemade stain here. This is the vinegar steel wool stain process. And uh, we actually start with a cup of tea. This is uh, just your generic black tea. Doesn't matter which kind you get. Just used one tea bag. Get rid of that. So you're gonna start by painting the black tea all over the wood, which goes very quickly. And the reason you're doing that is to add more tannins to the wood. There's a lot of tannins, natural tannins in uh, black tea. There's not much tannins in pine, which is what this is. If you're dealing with hardwood like oak, there's a lot of natural tannins in that wood and you don't need to add the black tea. Now, you're probably wondering what on earth am I talking about tannins for? Well, there's going to be a reaction that's going to occur be between this uh, vinegar and steel wool concoction and the tannins in the black tea. So basically, when you mix uh, steel wool, um, where did I put it? I lost my steel wool. Anyways, just those little little balls of steel wool. I usually mix two of them in a container like this, just regular vinegar, and it'll take a couple weeks to dissolve, but it does end up dissolving completely. And when it does, it forms something called iron acetate. And uh, without knowing too much about chemistry myself, apparently iron acetate reacts with tannins to oxidize, where part of the reaction is oxidation. And you can make a brand new piece of wood look very old and rustic, kind of like it's been sitting out in the rain and sun for a few seasons. And that's the goal with this type of stain is just to have that kind of rustic, grayed, kind of washed out look. You don't have to do the back, but what the heck. I've got nothing else to do here. Okay, let me just go dump this tea out and I'll put some vinegar in there. Okay, we just need a little bit of this stuff. That's probably too much, but I can always pour it back in there. So this reaction will happen fairly quickly. I'll try to get a good shot of it here. And it does develop more and more as it dries. So I'll just put one, one streak here. You see it's changing color already. 
Yeah, that's really quick. So that's some kind of a chemical reaction there between the iron acetate and the tannins. Kind of cool. Great all natural way to stain things. If you guys are interested, I could make a more detailed video on how to make this. Let me know in the comments. There's probably already a thousand videos about that though. I gotta work on my camera angle, I think, here. I keep getting my arm in the way. If you get this stuff on your skin, it will stain your skin for many, many days. I kind of wish I put some gloves on, but I guess I was just a little bit lazy. I've put the stuff on coffee tables, dining tables, benches, birdhouses. I'm always pretty impressed with the end result. A great go-to stain. Nice and cheap to make too. Very cool. So I'm going to let that dry overnight. Uh, if you run a fan or heater towards it, it can usually dry in maybe like six hours or so. You want to make sure it's nice and dry. You're basically getting it soaking wet with water, right? So it needs time to dry. Um, yeah, so I'll let that dry overnight and show you what that looks like in the morning. And here we are the next morning, completely dried. The stain worked out perfectly. Gives it a really nice rustic look. Very natural weathered look. Super happy with it. So I guess that's it for now. And if you guys wanna know how to make these stars, check out my channel. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I made another video on exactly how to cut all the angles. And it's quite detailed. I think you'll enjoy it. So check it out, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.